How can you build and leverage a no-code tech stack? We've talked about tech stacks on our channel before, but we've never actually gone into one, talked through the actual steps and how we leverage it. A tech stack is essentially a stack or collection of tools that you use in order to complete the overall app or platform that you're building. For example, you might be using Bubble as the base of your app, but you might also be using third-party services to connect to your Bubble app to expand it with different functionality. Now you might be thinking if you are building a no-code app, then why not just build that extra functionality yourself versus using outside services? And it's a great question. It really comes down to your own need and your own goals. When you're building your tech stack, you kind of want to compare how much time you want to spend versus potentially how much money you want to spend. For example, with our own tech stack, whenever we want to have custom functionality in our app, App that an outside service doesn't offer or maybe doesn't offer at a price point that we want to pay or with certain functionality that we need, then we might build it ourselves and put the time and the effort into building exactly what we need. But if there is an outside service that we can just quickly connect to, it's out of the box, it gives us exactly what we need, and we don't have to spend time building or maintaining that functionality thereafter because it's handled by the third-party service, then we might go in that direction. So really, when you're building your tech stack, it depends on your own goals and your own needs. In this video, we're actually going to dive into one of our own tech stacks. I'm going to walk you through how information is pulled in from external services, what we use those external services for, how we push information out, how our company relies on this tech stack. Also, how you can have multiple groupings of tech stacks. Totally not a technical term there, but you can build multiple tech stacks within one company. And we're going to dive into all of that. If you're new around here, my name is Kristen. I'm the co-founder of Coaching No Code Apps. We help non-technical entrepreneurs build custom apps so they can launch their app-based businesses or grow their existing businesses all without coding. Before we go any further, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn the notifications on so that you can stay up to date on all the no code related lessons we put out. One of our tech stacks relates to what we call our member tracking portal. So we have a mentorship program called Built to Scale. And it's where entrepreneurs go from their idea stage to bringing their first pilot users on board. And throughout that program, they follow a number of different steps and strategies and tactics. As a part of that program, we internally as a team track every single person who goes through it. We track the steps that they're taking, what they're doing with their app, how they're progressing, how much they're interacting, what milestones they're hitting and when. And by tracking all of this, we're able to make sure that they stay on track towards hitting the goals that they've set. Now, previously, we tracked these things through spreadsheet systems, and that might be one of the reasons you're building your app as well. But it wasn't as efficient or effective as we wanted it to be. And so we wanted to build our own software and tech stack in order to improve that process because for us, our clients' results are the highest priority. So anything we can do to enhance that, we're going to. So this tech stack is a part of that. On my screen here, there are six sections and that's going to make up our stack. So we're going to run through each different service or platform that we use within this stack. And then we're going to jump to how information passes through. And then we're going to come back and talk about what else all of these tools in the stack are used for so that you can understand how a tech stack should work for you and then apply it to your own needs. The portal we use as a team for this process is built on Bubble. On top of that, and this is not necessarily in any particular order, but we have Stripe that handles some triggers and actions. We have a service called Pay Kickstart that also does. And again, we'll go over what all of these are for so you can understand the full picture. We have a service called Help Scout. And we also have a service called active campaign. 
And then lastly, we have a service called Thinkific. These are the six platforms services that make up this particular tech stack. And so now we're going to jump over and talk about how it works and how information flows within that stack. Okay, so in the middle here, I'm going to put tracking portal and a preface here that this part is built on bubble. On the left side over here, we have info that goes in to that. And then on the right-hand side, we have info that goes out. The first thing that happens is we have our pay kickstart platform communicate with Stripe. And that actually communicates back to pay kickstart, which then sends information into our portal. So pay kickstart is a, a checkout software. It's essentially like a shopping cart. Pay kickstart communicates with Stripe in order to pass the checkout information. And then pay kickstart sends information into our client tracking portal to create a new client or a new user within that portal automatically. Now, I'm not going to go in exact order for everything because this isn't necessarily a string of events that happens in chronological order. Uh, this next thing doesn't happen right afterwards, but it is information that gets passed into the portal. So the next thing that we're going to put here is our Thinkific platform. Now we use Thinkific to, to host our video training, which makes up part of this. So our members get access to certain video resources. Now we have built our own LMS or learning management system on Bubble that houses some of our other content. But remember, when you're thinking about creating your tech stack, you are considering, you know, how much time do you want to spend versus how much money might it be worth to spend to get time back? What Thinkific sends into our tracking portal is when videos are completed. So if we have a section of videos that we want someone to complete based on what they're currently creating in their app, then we can go into our tra tracking portal and see exactly when someone has completed those videos so that when we have our next conversation, for example, maybe they go through a certain video one day, we're having a conversation with them the next day, we can both be on the same page. So it really streamlines the process. We also have a success team as part of this program. And another platform we use is called Help Scout. Now we use Help Scout for our general business emails as a whole. But one of the really cool things that we do with our tracking portal is for any of our clients in our program, when they send an email to us, which comes in to Help Scout, then our member tracking portal pulls that information in directly from Help Scout automatically. So within that tracking portal, we have access to an entire conversation history. And again, this really just streamlines the process and makes sure that everyone is always on the exact same page and everyone is making the exact right progress. One thing to keep in mind when you're building your tech stack and really just when you're building your app as a whole, is how much automation should actually be happening. It's easy to get in the mindset of, I need to automate every single little thing I can. And that's not always the right goal to have. You want to automate some things that don't really need human interaction, but you can also automate things that just serve as reminders or different parts of the process that supplement the overarching goal. If you think about another pyramid, this time having three different levels, we put systems on the bottom, processes in the middle, and delivery on top. So if there is some sort of human interaction component within your business, within your app, which usually there's going to be because you're going to have customer service or some types of user interactions in some way. Well, if you have your systems on the bottom, that is something like your this tracking portal that we're talking about or whatever tech stack you create. When you have processes on top of that, 
That's how you or your team interacts with those systems in order to have the right information at the right times. Delivery is how that information is used. So while this tracking portal or this tech stack example that we're talking through, it automates a lot of things. It's not actually automating the human interaction part. It's just making it really easy for everyone to have the right information at the right time so that delivery of that human interaction can be completely seamless. And this is how you should be thinking about everything with your business, systems, processes, Delivery. Okay, so back to our tech stack and that passing of information. One of the things that we talked about is how Stripe and Pay Kickstart work together to then send information into the tracking portal and create a new person, a new customer user inside that portal. One of the things that happens after that is the portal sends out information to Thinkific, which we also talked about and it creates a new student or a new user within Thinkific. So it essentially enrolls a person in Thinkific. We also pass information out of that portal and back into Help Scout. Now we can send emails directly through the portal. We can also send them in Help Scout, but we have all of the information within the portal. So they can just be sent directly through there. We can also create templates within the portal that we might use for certain situations. And we also send emails to the build to scale group members as a whole. For example, if there's an upcoming live workshop, then we'll send them an email and make sure that everybody's able to join. After that, we have active campaign as the last part of this stack that we talked about. When that information comes from pay kickstart and stripe and we have a new user or a new member cr uh, created in the portal then information gets sent out to active campaign and in active campaign we have a trigger that will send out some emails automatically with some really important getting started kind of first day information to set someone up for success as they move forward. This is just one of our tech stacks. It helps with one area of the overall business and it sets those processes that happen up for success. It allows us to deliver really consistent experiences. And this is important, again, not for the automation or the time that it saves, which tech stacks are important for that as well. But remember that there is automation to the extreme and there is automation that sets up processes and delivery to happen with complete expertise. So with that said, we have lots of other tech stacks for lots of different business processes, but at the hub is Bubble. On top of that is where we add in these different third-party services. Some of these third-party services help us internally as a company, as they'll do for you when you start creating your tech stacks. And then some of the tools are going to be externally facing for your users, or they're going to at least handle the processes that are externally facing. And so think about it in both ways. So let's dive a little bit more deeply into these tools. So first, we have Bubble at the bottom. Now you can build most things on Bubble. We won't go into everything right now. That's 10 other videos on their own, uh, but Bubble handles all of the main functionality. It's where the the main components of our site and our different apps are all housed. Now, on top of that, for, for this particular tech stack, we have Stripe. Now, Stripe is something that we use outside of this tech stack, as you probably will as well. Stripe is really common, but for us, it processes all of our payments. Now, you might be wondering why we have something like Pay Kickstart, which acts as a checkout when we also have Stripe. And one of the reasons goes back to comparing that time versus money. We got to the point where we wanted to be able to create more custom checkouts 
And while we could do that on our own, and for a while we did within Bubble, we wanted to be able to move a little bit more quickly and have less maintenance involved. And so we started using Pay Kickstart because it's out of the box. It had everything we needed and allowed us to speed up our processes. Now we have Help Scout on top of that. And Help Scout is really just inbox management. So if you have a team that is going to be working with or responding to users, a customer support team, for example, if you want support tickets coming into certain inboxes, maybe you want to divide up those inboxes as you scale so there's more organization and efficiency, Help Scout is a great tool to use for something like that. We also have Active campaign. Now, there are tons of email marketing platforms out there. Um, you can use things like MailChimp, for example, is another really common one. Active campaign offers a little bit more robust functionality. And we use Active campaign in lots of different ways. If you came to this video from an email that we sent out, that came through Active campaign. We also have certain automation set up so that when someone maybe enrolls in one of our uh, courses, our standalone courses, well, they'll get an immediate email that's triggered an active campaign that shares login information, for example. We have a sales pipeline within active campaign. That's something that active campaign offers. So when people schedule strategy calls with us to put together roadmaps for their app, then that's tracked through active campaign. So there's tons of uses. It's not just for this, this tech stack, but it's a part of this tech stack. And then lastly, we have Thinkific. And again, just like pay kickstart, this was really just a matter of wanting to move more quickly and put less time in maintenance. And so we leveraged this LMS to be able to do that. Now, that's not to say that we couldn't build the same thing on Bubble. We could, but you have to sort of balance you know, what it is that you are putting your, your focus into. What are your priorities? And at different stages with your app and with your business, your priorities are gonna shift. And so at some points you are gonna be building maybe everything on Bubble or almost everything on Bubble. Uh, at some points you're also gonna shift and use other tools just so that you can leverage these different things in different ways for your uh, business growth and really just for your user your customer success. If you have been wondering what a tech stack is or how to use it for yourself and your app, that should give you a really in-depth overview, but it doesn't stop there. There are so many different aspects involved in building and launching your app, growing your app in business. So I want you to head to the video that you see on this screen because that's going to help you through your next steps in launching and growing your no-code app and business.